Hello, I'm Elizabeth Ubenix, the curatorial assistant at Decorative Sculpture Park and Museum in Lincoln. We are part of the Trustees, Massachusetts' largest conservation and preservation organization. Today, I'll be talking about a couple of sculptures currently on view on our grounds. To my left, we can see Marin Hassinger's Monument 6 Square, and behind me, we can see Marin Hassinger's Monument 3 Standing Rectangle. Both of these pieces were commissioned by the Studio Museum in Harlem and displayed in the summer of 2018 in Marcus Garvey Park. They were brought to De Cordova in July 2019. While these pieces were intended as site-specific installations, responding to the natural and man-made environments they were found in, they took on their own life here at De Cordova. Over the course of three days, around 90 volunteers came to help complete the structure with materials found around De Cordova's property. From the mulch inside the structures, giving them weight, to the branches seen on the facade of the figures, each item was sourced from our own environment. Beyond sourcing our own materials, volunteers were able to add their own unique touch to Monument 3 standing rectangle. From a distance, you can start to see a wavy form emerge from the sticks and branches across the side of the rectangle. This design was not premeditated or asked for by Hassinger herself. Instead, she gave the volunteers a chance to impact the design of the piece as they laid out the branches as they pleased. Stepping closer and closer to the piece, you start to notice the other details that hold it together, from the brown zip ties making bundles of branches to the linked fence that creates the underwire of the structure. Turning to look at the other piece, a distinct weave pattern immediately shows itself. While looking around Marcus Garvey Park, Marin Hassinger took inspiration from objects and forms around her, from flower beds to walls. In a literal translation from object to artwork, Hassinger took the checkerboard pattern from the chessboards in the park and created Monument 6 Square. On all four sides, volunteers meticulously weaved branches vertically and horizontally to create the nine square pattern seen on all four visible faces. At De Cordova, the monument no longer sits next to its inspiration, but can still draw out meanings and associations from visitors. From a Rubik's Cube to a plaid shirt, one can think of a multitude of items that look like or remind them of Monument 6 Square. Both forms of these sculptures are angular and sharp, contradicting the natural growth of tree limbs or the hilly landscape of De Cordova. Instead of clashing with their surroundings, they emphasize the vertical line seen all around, from the fence behind them to Nancy Milliken Winship's Pastor Song or Soul the Wit's Tower DC. Their horizontal lines mimic the cantilevered roof of the De Cordova ticket booth and the paths and roads that lead you throughout the park. For Hassinger, these works are not meant to simply sit here and be pretty. Even removed from their original context in Harlem, viewers can consider the relationship between nature and community and the connection between the materials and the environment they're found in. Throughout her career, Hassinger has called attention to objects that are often humble and everyday. From newspapers to pantyhose and trash, Hassinger creates meditations on environmental concerns and social justice. Here, we can marvel at the beauty created by human hands out of natural materials, but we can also consider the damage done by them.